Hello. I had a subscriber ask me about Premiere Pro and nesting and what that's all about. I'm going to give you a very basic tutorial on that right now. In Premiere Pro, when you nest things, you're basically collapsing all the footage into one thing that you can manipulate. Let's take a look at that right now. Now here I have a video that I did. Let's just uh, mute these tracks here, music tracks. I had a video that I did. It was for a wireless thing. And you'll see uh, I have this thing coming in, zooming in, these two little units coming in, and these two little guys down here turning on and off. I'm not going to go into how I did that exactly, but the elements you're looking at that are occurring here are right here. This is the text layer right here. That's the left unit. That's the right unit. And then as we go in, we have these different things turning on and off. Right there, that's the right one. That's the left one duplicated. Now let's say this may hopefully be a good example. You can use this in many ways, but let's say I want to take this and I want to animate all this stuff. I want to move this over this way and then move it over this way and then move it up or move it down. For me to go in and select all these different things and start setting those keyframes on all there on every one of these would be an absolute nightmare and pain. So here's what we do. We select all the elements that we want like this. We right click and under this menu, right click menu, you'll see nest. Now it's asking me what I want to do, what I want to name it, and I'm going to call it Nest Example. Now if you look over in your project window, you'll see that it created what's basically a sequence. Um, just like any other sequence, I've called it Nest so I can keep track of it. This is the Nest right here. Now what's happened is all these elements are put in here and they're all one unit now. It still animates, it still does what it was doing before, and they're all in here. If you double click on this nest example, there's everything all safe and secure. I can go in and edit this, I can do whatever I want. So let's say we want to animate this thing around on the screen. Maybe it comes in here like that when it does that. So let's set a position keyframe here and we'll jump over five frames. And let's uh, move it over here. We'll let that sit there for a little bit. Then we'll get another keyframe and jump over five frames. And we'll move this guy over here. And maybe we'll let that hold for a little bit. And uh, no, let's not do that. Let's jump over here. And let's have it go uh, back here and down here, which means it's going to go across the screen like that. And then we'll hold that like that set another keyframe and then move it up here maybe we'll just stick it up here and then we'll uh move it again hold a keyframe and then uh i don't know let's uh let's zip it down so here's what happens is just play this comes in moves left right up down like that Kind of a bad example, but the idea here is, is that I'm manipulating all, this one object. All these objects that are sitting here, I'm now able to manipulate this one object. It doesn't matter what you do with this. You could add effects. Let's make a really, really nasty looking uh, color here. I'm gonna take this and we're gonna make it all pinky ucky and blue like that, and maybe we overexpose it and we just make it all crazy. Now you'll notice we still have our keyframes, still moving around, <laughs> and it's really ugly. But if you go into the nest itself, notice nothing's changed. Nothing at all has changed here on this. So I'm applying everything I'm doing to the nest. That is one example of using nests. I've done this a lot of times. Um, where you collapse something because you want to animate all the elements that you've already created. The other thing that you can do is holding down the command or the alt key on Windows is now when I duplicate this, 
again, I can duplicate it and reuse this. And you'll see that all these elements are still there. This has a lot of application. I use this all the time. If I'm uh, doing some sort of animation thing like this and I want to move things around, I'll nest them and then be able to move them around, animate them, and do whatever I want. That's a very basic idea of how you would use nesting and what you can do with nesting. There's plenty more to this. I hope that answers your question. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to go check out the free and paid courses over at Basic Filmmaker University. I appreciate it. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. We'll see you next time.